Alrighty, so um, on behalf of uh, the University of Chicago, we are thrilled to extend an invitation to hold the 2017 REDCap conference in the great city of Chicago. Uh, so Chicago offers what we think is the perfect setting for attendees to, uh, to learn, network, collaborate, and socialize. Um, so over the next uh, 10 minutes or so, we're going to be highlighting key aspects of our proposal, including your hosts at the University of Chicago, a uh, map of the area, our proposed venue, and finally a small sampling of the many dining, accommodation, transportation, and entertainment options that are available. So uh, turning our attention first to your conference hosts, the University of Chicago, uh, the university was established in the year 1890 and is composed of uh, the undergraduate college, various graduate programs, the University of Chicago Medical Center, and professional schools including the Graham School of Continuing Liberal and Professional Studies, the Pritzker School of Medicine, the Booth School of Business, and the Law School. Uh, the university has a rich and storied history of academic excellence in fields as diverse as economics, sociology, physics, medicine, and literature, having been home to 89 Nobel laureates, as well as high-ranking academic programs. Uh, once renowned as much for brawn as for brains, our history includes the original monsters of the Midway, which were not the Chicago Bears, but rather the University of Chicago team. We have the very first recipient of the Heisman Trophy, Jay Berwanger, and the site of the world's first self-sustaining nuclear reaction, which was coincidentally conducted beneath the football field that the monsters once ruled. Uh, so our main conference planning team consists of uh, Julissa Acevedo, our Red Cap Administrator, uh, myself, Brian Ferner, CRI Manager of Programming, Michael Baltazzi, the CRI's Deputy Director, and Dr. Sam Bolschenbaum, the uh, CRI Director and Associate CRIO. Uh, we also have the enthusiastic support of the university's event planning office and their staff. As far as our red cap history and usage goes, we joined the consortium back in 2010, and our group, the Center for Research Informatics, was created shortly thereafter. Uh, presently, we have, <clears throat> pardon me, just around 1,800 users and 2,200 projects in our REDCap instance. Um, and now I'd like to turn the presentation over to Julissa, who's going to cover uh, the conference logistics of our proposal. Alrighty, uh, Julissa. Thanks, Brian. Hi, everyone. I'll be going over the logistics for the conference. First, I'd like to start with a map of the Chicagoland area on the left and our venue area on the right. Our selected venue, the Gleacher Center, is centrally located in the downtown area alongside the Chicago River and it steps away from Lake Michigan. It's about 30 minutes from O'Hare Airport on the north and 25, mi 25 minutes from Midway Airport on the south. The main university campus is about 20 minutes south of the Gleacher Center. The Gleacher Center currently fulfills the demanding space and catering needs for the university's Booth School of Business. The center itself is six stories high with 50,000 square feet of meeting space, and it provides sweeping views of both the downtown and the Chicago River. The neighborhood contains many fine hotels, restaurants, and entertainment activities. The Gleacher Center provides reception rooms that can accommodate various needs and requirements. The 3,000 square foot dining room allows for up to 350 guests in a seated reception layout. The room is equipped with the latest technologies to enhance presentations and speaking engagements. The room also features floor-to-ceiling windows, which showcase beautifully views of Lake Michigan, the Chicago River, and the famous Chicago skyline. In addition to Gleacher's dining room, there's also numerous seminar rooms which hold breakout sessions, classes, and discussions. With ergonomic seating, excellent acoustics, and clear sight lines, all of these rooms strike the perfect balance between hospitality and business. Wolfgang Puck Catering is the exclusive catering partner for the Gleacher Center. The name Wolfgang Puck is synonymous with the very best in fine dining, and the catering staff will no doubt provide the perfect culinary complement for the conference. Chicago itself has earned its reputation as an eater's paradise. From the classic Chicago-style hot dog and deep dish pizza 
To avant-garde dining, there is something for everyone to enjoy. Some of the best restaurants in the city are within a few blocks of the Bleacher Center. So whether you desire a trendy culinary experience or a visit to a Chicago institution, your dining adventure is not far. And we also encourage you to venture throughout the city for even more dining options. Here's a sample of popular dining destinations. We have Alinea Restaurant, voted the world's top restaurant in 2016. We have Italy Chicago, an energetic marketplace with restaurants, takeaway counters, and a cooking school. And you can also travel around the world to Little Italy, Greektown, and Chinatown. As for lodging options, downtown Chicago has limitless and affordable options compared to cities of similar size. The University of Chicago can offer for a significant discounted rate on numerous four-star hotels located close to the Bleacher Center. Here's a few of our hotel options that are ready to meet our conference attendees' needs. We have the Intercontinental Chicago, Omni Chicago Hotel, the Fairfield Inn and Suites, and London House Chicago. Centrally located in the Midwest, Chicago offers two international airports, O'Hare and Midway. Both are about half an hour away and accessible via airport shuttles, cabs, public trains, and Uber and Lyft, both which are app-based car services. And within the city, there's various forms of transportation. We have plentiful cabs, public buses and trains, Divi public bikes, and Uber and Lyft. During your visit to Chicago, you'll have the opportunity to experience one of America's greatest metropolises, the cultural life of the city bustles with museums, theaters, and music venues. With so many options for entertainment, we've put together a sample agenda with optional group outings. The following slides present possible destinations for, the, for these group outings. To start, here's a few of our favorites, starting with the Art Institute, Millennium Park's Cloudgate, or the Bean as many call it, architectural boat tours, and the Field Museum of Natural History. Next is 360 Chicago, where you can enjoy 360-degree views from 1,000 feet above Magnificent Mile and Lake Michigan. Or for the more adventurous, step out onto the ledge, a glass balcony extending five feet outside the 103rd floor of Willis Tower, the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. We also have the world-famous Adler Planetarium and the Shedd Aquarium. Next, you can catch a play, a show, or concert at the Chicago Theater, or visit the Museum of Contemporary Art. And if you stop by the Museum of Science and Industry, be sure to visit the Oriental Institute, located on our very own university campus. Chicago has plenty of free sightseeing options as well. Take a walk along the Chicago River, visit the animals at Lincoln Park Zoo, take a picture by the famous Buckingham Fountain in Grand Park, or catch the spectacular fireworks show at Navy Pier. And now I'll turn over the presentation back to Brian for our closing remarks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Julissa. So to summarize, we feel that Chicago offers the three C's of convenience, choice, and cost. First, we offer convenience in being centrally located geographically with service to two major airports, and in our venue, the Gleacher Center, being centrally located in the city amid food, shopping, and entertainment options. Second, we offer choice in having multiple highly rated hotels in very close proximity to the Gleacher Center. In cuisine, with having everything from a quick bite on the run to Michelin rated restaurants available, and in entertainment with everything from the blues to world class museums. And finally, we offer low costs. Despite the high quality and the breadth of choice Chicago can offer, your dollar goes further in the city of Chicago. And with that, we'd like to thank you for the opportunity to present our city for consideration for next year's conference. And we uh, hope to see you all here in Chicago for Red Cap Con 2017. Uh, thank you, and remember to vote Chicago. Thank, thank you.